Good morning, everybody. MG here. MG Covers bringing you a brand new handicapping video. The whole premise of this video is how to drastically improve your handicapping and be better than the general public based on two very, very simple concepts. And this has kind of been my theme uh, the last month. It's one of the things I got sloppy with in my own personal handicapping uh, this, this entire year but really made an emphasis on it this year. And those two concepts are fading the public and playing teams with value. When I say value, significant value plus 120 on up as far as uh, underdog goes. So we're going to go through uh, yesterday's games in all sports, Major League Baseball, NHL, and NBA, and just apply this concept. And I'll show you how effective it is. And again, this is with no situational handicapping, no stat model, nothing. Just based on line movement and where the public is going, I'm going to show you how much better you can improve your handicapping just applying these two concepts. So let's start with the first one here. Mets are the under, uh, non-public team, Yankees heavy public team, 57%. We'll come over here. Would we, we wouldn't play this based on the criteria I just told you because we would be laying juice. So that would be a pass. Tampa Bay, heavy public team, 40, 54% of the tickets. Miami getting 46%. We play Miami, we lose. But we only lose 100 because we pay, play, pay no juice using this concept. Chicago-Cincinnati, 50-50 game. We play the team with the most value. Chicago Cubs, that's plus 150. So that's a win. Minnesota-Detroit. Minnesota favorites here, public, 55%. Detroit, non-public team, 45%. That's a winner at plus 192. So some big wins here, right? Washington, Boston, 52-48. Now, if the tickets, I'm at sportsbookreview.com. If the tickets are split fairly close, which I mean anything from 48 to 52, or if it's 49-51, or obviously 50-50, I consider those even games, which means there's no clear public team now if it's if you come down here if it's 53 and 47 right here um, Atlanta is the public team then I consider if it's 53 percent and higher I consider that a public team okay so in this example we don't have a public team so where's the team with value that'd be Washington and again even though that's value we wouldn't play it why because we're just getting even money so our two concepts is we're going to play non-public teams and teams with significant value so that's a no play. We go to White Sox, 57%. KC getting 43% of the tickets. We play KC. That's a loss. Pittsburgh, Milwaukee, even amount of tickets. We play the team with value. Huge, huge value in this one. Pittsburgh wins plus 239. Cleveland, Cincinnati, 57% of the tickets on Cleveland. 43% on St. Louis. St. Louis wins. And we wouldn't play this, just to be true to our example, even though they did win and you were getting uh, plus 110. Just for this example I'm showing you, we're just leaving the criteria at it needs to be at least plus 120 or higher. So that's a no play. Next one, Dodgers, Texas. Dodgers heavy public team. Probably one of the best teams in baseball right now, no doubt. 55%, uh, Texas 45. We play Texas, 195 plus 195. That's a loss. Baltimore, Toronto. Baltimore almost won this one. Uh, Toronto walk-off run there. 60% of the tickets. Baltimore 40%. We play Baltimore plus 136. That's a loss. San Diego, Colorado. 50-50 game. We play Colorado. That's a loss. Seattle, LA Angels. 49-51. and 51. We play the team with the most value. Plus 184. That is a win for St. Louis. San Francisco is the favorite. 50 percent of the tickets Arizona getting 45 percent but you can see here it's minus 121 so we would not play this because we don't want to lay juice all right Yankees 61 percent New York Mets 39 percent again we would not lay juice there based on our criteria and the last game same deal 53 percent of the tickets on Atlanta Atlanta's a favorite so that leans towards Philadelphia and it's plus 106 it doesn't meet our criteria of plus 120 so, I don't know if you were following along, but we actually went four and five in Major League Baseball. Okay. Not a winning record based on those criteria, but we're, we're actually profitable. And we'll show you that a little bit later in the example. So, let's look at, let's go to NBA. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Boston. This was the actual game that we played. Well, we played two games. We played Boston, just full disclosure. We played Boston and won. We played half a unit on Utah. Our line was minus four. Uh, so we were actually profitable. We hit Boston. We played it early on at plus 120. And we played it for a full unit. We played Utah for a half unit and lost. So we were actually profitable based on the way I handicap. But based on the example that I'm teaching you guys, we're, we're not using any kind of stat model, just based on public and finding value. 52-48, 51-49, 50 So all these games, we're getting you know, even tickets. All right? So that means we're going to play the uh, underdog. So we go to money line. Let me go back here. We'll use uh, five dimes. So that means we were playing Boston minus 117. I mean, I'm sorry. We would play Boston plus 117. That was a win. We would play Dallas plus 410. That was a loss. And we would play Denver plus 128. That was a win. <laughs> so, you know, uh, that's going to be very profitable in NBA. Two and one. All right. So let's go to the last sport of the day. Hockey. All right, here we go. So we go Colorado Dallas. This was the uh, we actually played this one. We sent this out to clients. We played it at 120. Uh, it was a winner. 56% of the tickets on Colorado, 44% on Dallas. So we play the team. You know, it qualifies under the criteria I'm showing you in this video. So that's a winner at plus 120. Uh, 54, 55% of the tickets on Islanders, 45% on Philadelphia. But we're not getting enough value here for this to be a play. So that's a no play. Finally, Vegas, 55% of the tickets. Uh, Vancouver, 45%. Vegas was a non-public team early in the day. We almost played them on the puck line, which would have been a winner. But uh, Vancouver, 45%. So we play Vancouver at plus 175. That is a loss. So huge, huge value in doing this. Now, I'm actually going to show you this. Check this out. This is the record. So MLB, we remember I told you we had a losing record, 4-5. and five. We actually won. This is based on... A uh, hundred dollar player, seven sixty five. We lost five because remember we're paying we're paying no juice, so five losses is five hundred bucks. So we're up two point six five units in Major League Baseball, NBA. We went two and one, up two forty five, lost one hundred and up one point four five units. <laughs> NHL we split out one and one, one twenty minus a hundred uh, for a. Uh, profit of 0 0.20 units. So all three sports were profitable overall. Seven and seven. Total amount won was 11.30. Amount loss was 700. Look at that, guys. 4.3 units. Now understand this. That's not using any stat model, no situational angles. And but I'm using this as a point to prove how important uh, line movement, where the public is going and the importance of playing non-public teams because a lot of things that we miss um, in my stat model will be, will be picked up here, right? So generally what happens is, and, and reason this is true is the general public just not, does not win in sports betting. The general public will overreact to um, a, maybe an injury, a goalie change, a pitching change, things like that. Um, and then a lot of times they'll underreact to something they should overreact to. And so you'll, you're able to pick that up by following, uh, you know, where that money's going. So that's pretty powerful, guys. And that's, again, no stats, just fading the public and playing teams with value. Now, if you actually, this is my website here, if you actually incorporate, you know, power rankings using lines, which is what we do, we teach uh, – you know, my power rankings here, we have power rankings for all sports. And if you incorporate that in with, um, you know, watching line movement, playing non-public teams, think of how much better you will be. Which brings me to a special we're having. Um, you can join a for one year, it's 249 and I'm going to have a coupon in the description box for 49 off. So you can join for the whole year, 12 months, for 200 bucks. Hell of a deal. And what you get with that, you get all of my plays for all sports. Major League Baseball, we have football coming up, NBA, NHL playoffs, soccer. And you get power rankings, which you're able to see all of my lines for all sports. 
and then finally coaching. We have a slew of videos that are not available on YouTube on private coaching videos that show you how to take my power rankings and handicap uh, all the sports that we wager on. So you get all that for uh, 249 and with the coupon is 200 If you would like to just purchase uh, daily picks, it's $49.95 a month. You get all of the coaching. You get all of the um, uh, power rankings and all of my plays for all sports. So if you take that, it's 50 times 12. So that's $600 uh, if you paid each month. And again, if you pay by the year, it's only uh, 200 bucks. So heck of a deal. And if you just wanted to get our coaching videos, I mean our coaching program, which gives you access to all these power rankings and the coaching, uh, that is $29.95 a month. You don't get, don't, do not get any play, my personal plays with that. So again, special $249. With the coupon code, it is minus uh, 49, so it's 200 total. So again, so just to recap, when you're handicapping, even if you're not a client, remember, don't play public teams. And then if you're going to play a team that's non-public, make sure you're getting some value with that. Now, this will not be profitable every single day. This is just an example. There'll be some days you'll actually lose, but you won't go on these long losing spells, and you'll be so much better than the general public. So hopefully that video helped. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, love to have you as a subscriber. Hope everybody has a great day. Talk to you soon.